Welcome to the next video in our series on food literacy in the classroom in partnership with Farms to Cafeteria Canada. In this next couple of videos, we're going to explore different techniques and strategies to positively encourage children to try and taste new foods. At Growing Chefs, we constantly hear from parents that children not being open or willing to try new things is one of, if not the biggest barrier they face in regards to helping their children develop healthy diets and healthy relationships with food. We also know that children tend to be more willing to try new things and go outside of their comfort zones when at school among their peers versus at home with their parents. Therefore, school can be an ideal place to expose and introduce children to new types of food they may not have access to or be willing to try at home. Many children believe that if food is considered good for you, that it won't or even can't taste good, or that you have to suffer through healthy foods in order to get to the enjoyable ones. But we have found that for many students, it only takes a few positive experiences before they can realize that healthy foods can taste amazing. But figuring out how and where to start can be tricky. In our experience, the best strategy for building confidence in trying and tasting new foods is exposure. Giving children the opportunity to identify, touch, feel, smell, explore, and eventually taste new foods in a positive and fun environment is the key to helping children develop confidence and comfort around new foods. This exposure to different fruits and vegetables and tasting practice is crucial for children to become more comfortable with a wide variety of foods and this quite simply isn't happening at home for many if not the majority of children in Canada. The sensory experience of tasting new foods can be overwhelming, especially for children. As we age, we begin to lose our taste buds, but younger children tend to have a more extreme experience when tasting things, and their reactions or willingness to participate can reflect that. So let's be honest, tasting foods can be intimidating, especially for students and adults who have anxiety and phobias around food. In our experience, most people Children, and many adults, have never actually learned how to taste, which sounds funny when you say it like that. But what we mean is that we find many people who only know how to classify a food as tasting either bad or good, or as something they like or dislike, instead of being able to consider or even identify what it is that they like or dislike about the food. At Growing Chefs, we use a few different strategies to teach children to taste like a chef anytime we are introducing tasting activities to students. The strategy we choose depends on the age and maturity of the participants, and in this video, we'll outline some of the different strategies we find most helpful. At Growing Chefs, we use the phrase, learning to taste like a chef, a lot. What we mean by this is that tasting is one of the most important parts of a chef's job. A chef needs to not only taste and adjust seasoning for everything they make, but more than that, a chef needs to be able to understand, anticipate, and manipulate flavors. A chef can anticipate what happens when you combine ingredients, how to bring certain flavors forward, or mask or hide others. A chef can see flavor much like an artist sees color. They know how to combine flavors in order to achieve a certain outcome. They can taste something and understand how to adjust it to make it more appealing or more balanced. But most importantly, a chef can taste things and separate what tastes balanced and correct from what they like or they dislike. Learning to taste like a chef is a really great skill, but can only be achieved by practicing tasting new foods and getting comfortable with tasting things you may not necessarily like. The goal of learning to taste like a chef is to help students think about and understand what they're tasting instead of simply jumping to whether they like it or not and helping them become comfortable with the idea of tasting things that they may not initially like so that they can gain as much experience as possible tasting a variety of foods. To help convince students to try something new, consider giving them the role of the chef when tasting. If engaged, Students may be able to look at different foods in a more objective way before thinking, I like it or I don't like it. 
We know that the more variety of foods children are exposed to, the more likely they will be willing to try new things. By challenging them to step into the role of a chef, they may be more willing to try something new. Remember, even chefs have to taste things that they might not personally enjoy. Before a dish is complete, it has to be properly seasoned and have the perfect balance of flavor. Everyone has completely different tastes and will like or dislike certain foods. Make sure students understand that it's okay not to like something, but we can still think about how these foods taste, try to understand what we don't like about them using neutral words to express why, and begin to understand how they could adjust or adapt the flavor in order to improve it. For example, adding something sweet to make things less sour, adding salt to bring out more flavors, adding acidity to balance bitterness, or changing texture by cutting things differently or cooking things less or more. Learning to taste like a chef is a really great skill that can only be achieved by practicing tasting new foods and getting comfortable with tasting things you may not necessarily like. Next video, we're going to talk about how we use language with food and how our words can be a barrier or can help children to be comfortable with trying new foods. See you then.